and all right we've got Skeff here and he's playing as light blue or blue at this I guess uh, he's going for a vehicle factory to start off with while Max here is going with a power generator and he's then going for an air factory right after that probably to get scouting and fabrication vehicle coming out of Skaff's factory he's going to probably start expanding here to that metal in Stratera metal is a lot more of a needed resource you receive a lot less only five metal from a basic metal extractor so it's important to get on expanding and fabrication aircraft being built from Max he's already got one metal extractor and two power generators now those fabrication aircrafts are quick but they build very slowly and they're quite inefficient when it comes to power so it may take a little bit he'll probably want to get at least two of those air fabricators on there going for another air factory as well looks like he's going to be pushing for air at this moment and another vehicle factory up here and a strider coming up for scaf strider if i remember correctly are the amphibious vehicles so they'll be useful across water and another well actually his first aircraft factory coming online he's got two skitterers and they're moving together not sure if he's going to put them on a patrol path all around the world they'll help him find any enemies that might exist here and we've got a stinger no, not a stinger but ugh. Hummingbird, yeah, still a hummingbird. Moving around, just checking these mo expansions, and now Max knows where Scaff is, so he'll most likely start gearing up towards military expansion towards him. Another air factory going up as well. It's very interesting. He's really going for a lot of air, which is, as I said, interesting, because air isn't incredibly powerful in Stratera that I've seen uh, unless he gets up to advanced they're not going to do as much as he probably hopes they will and he's got a bumblebee floating around there still it looks like Skaff has not found Max yet he might want to see about getting a radar online but he's getting up a bot factory at this moment he's got those two striders there Oh, and five more over here six actually but not a lot is going on max is expanding but he's starting to reach his limits both are floating energy at this time and max has finally made it up to the same metal power as scaff scaff is not expanding anymore he had a unit building all of these metal extractors but isn't doing anything else which is a sad thing to see not expanding over any of the other parts of the world which with Stratera he will need to expand to be able to have a large and powerful army crashers being built here crashers are pretty good they're amphibious so it'll be useful to work against Max Max is actually going for an advanced factory here known as specialist vehicle factory and that will allow him to build a few specific things that will be helpful he's finally expanding onto land getting up more metal and it looks like Scaff has figured out that he really needs to start expanding more and so he is more striders coming together in general which is an interesting thing to see because they are not the most powerful of the generalist land vehicles that are out there. But crashers and striders coming together. And another fighter coming over and it gets hit and taken down. Specialist vehicle, fa vehicle factory going up here to the south. Scaff is negative by 70 metal he's working at 53 percent efficiency starting to come out of it a little bit but he needs to expand his metal 
to be able to keep on expanding, which he doesn't seem to be doing at this time. Going back, we're seeing some levelers come out, and these levelers in this version are a lot more fragile. They may be powerful, but they're, they have quite a bit less health than normal. And it looks like Scaff has seen Stuart's ba Max's base, excuse me, and is sending troops over to attack. We'll see what these guys do coming forwards and hitting those mo extractors doing quite a bit of damage but they don't protect against air at all they are wide open for an air attack they're going to have to do some fancy maneuvering to try to get away the nice thing though is those bombers are single hit he is able to get take down two metal extractors he also has units coming around the other side towards the side of Max's base Max will need to get those levelers into action soon. He's already got several out, and in comes those units. These slashers coming forward as well. And those striders are not a good place to push them forward. Max is running those striders right forward. Well, sorry. Those levelers right into the striders, and they're taking lots of hits. Their range and damage are the key to their power. He's already lost several of the units he had. And they might have been doing pretty good damage, but it was a pretty big loss. There we go. We've got some smashers coming in, and they're destroyed. They were the anti-air units for the bot. Basic bots. Or at least support against air. Here we go. We've got some fighters coming in. But well, a lot of fighters countering them. There goes the torpedoes. Hopefully these units will move forwards and actually move into the water because at least those striders are amphibious. They can make it into the water, no problem. But instead it seems like he's opting not to do it. You know it's moving into the water, but the stompers are getting stuck. And there goes one of the air factories. Moving back to Scaff, he seems to be working on building thumpers, which are the specialist artillery, and working on getting advanced metal extractors, which those actually don't provide much more metal than the standard only five more metal and they take a lot to build he's got lots lots of space to expand yet he's not very little expansion going on here which is really surprising normally we see players expand over large amounts of the world but it seems like scaff is opting not to expand at this moment max has expanded much more and max actually needs to get working on building more and more factories he's got lots of units coming out but they're not doing much he's getting together pelicans so he might be going to go ahead and try a drop small skirmish goes on between a leveler and several units and the bots take the victory home Fighter comes in, destroys a few pelicans, but gets destroyed by the enemy forces. Lots of units coming together over here for Scaff. Hopefully we'll see him swing them around and try and hit Max. But it looks like Max has gotten pelicans with levelers together, and they're probably going to see about going for a drop. Seems to be watching his units pretty carefully, moving his pelicans and his hummingbirds forwards. And they're actually headed straight for these units. Hopefully he'll dodge around them. And yes, he is dodging around them. If he can get them in on that commander, he can take a victory home. And here comes those units. And they're dropping them. 
Lovelers are down, and they are doing damage. Lovelers moving around. And the commander is moving away as quickly as possible. Levelers have already destroyed two factories and soon to be four energy plants. No, the energy plants are fine at this moment. Lots of units coming forward here to defend the base. And those levelers are finally taken down. The kill count is two metal extractors, two factories, three energy plants. And that was a pretty good raid, all in all. Units pull back now, back to Star's base, but, bleh. Max's base, sorry. Anyways, Max working on building more troops, not really doing much towards military conquest, flanking. Normally, you see in games like this, lots of factories being built and tons of units being pushed out but it's not quite the same the militaries are actually quite small under a hundred military units which is really rare to see in a game like this units slowly building up here It looks like both players at this time are just working on building more factories and more units. Advanced air factory going up here for Scaff. It'll provide him with some pretty good units to use against Max here. He's probably going for the fighters to see about trying to stop Max from doing another drop. However, Scaff is running on negative metal and negative energy. He's going to have to work on changing that. Lots of air fabricators are being used for some reason, which is not the best idea. They use a lot of power compared to most units. So you're definitely working at a loss. Turrets going up here. Hoping to protect this side against attacks. Max has learned that he's going to have to defend things. Oh, looks like Pelkins are mounting up more levelers. We're seeing them get together. Fighters come forwards. And in comes an assault on Max's base. This might be it for Max. Lots of units coming forward. Power is going down. Max needs to make a push now. Oh, all those air fabricators run straight towards those fires, but the fighters only take down two of them because they don't actually target. Enemy. Naval factory going up behind Max's base, but Max's base is already mostly destroyed. Those amphibious units working through what's left of the base. And here it's another van. Another leveler drop. Levelers are in the metal. An energy production area. Going after the commander. Commander is taking some hits, but nothing major. There's not quite enough levelers there to do the damage that he needs them to do. Most of Max's base is destroyed. And two naval factories have been built by SCAF. And Max actually should see those two naval factories because of these mill extractors. Units pulling back quite a bit of damage to the power supply to SCAF. But not enough to stop him. And he is getting peregrines up. Commander down to 64% health. And now Max is getting hit. Already lost another factory. Taking shots 
at the opposing units. But he doesn't have much left of a base. He needs energy at this moment. Only has one power back. One yeah, one power plant here. Which isn't providing him <laughs> enough energy to run all of his stuff. Sunfish coming forwards! And they fire small little missiles. Which are enough to be really annoying and harassing. And they can actually hit anything, so land, sea, or air. Max is still saying there. Don't know what he's doing with his commander at this moment. He's got another drop ready. And here he comes. Coming with, with his airdrop. And Lovelers are down. And they're now attacking the base. Oh, they're getting picked up again. And being pulled back. Most of the Pelicans got hurt in this attack. And very few left. Three, three Lovelers make it through. And they are quickly destroyed. Along with all the rest of the units. Things are looking very bad for Max. Max is called Good Game. And we should see his commander suicide here in a minute. There he goes. Commander self destructs. And that's a good game. And that's it for this round.